Hi, welcome back. This is one of our teaching platforms. It's called Zoom. You must install it on your laptop. Once it's installed successfully, you can enter the classroom from the tutor website. You never have to log into Zoom since it syncs with the classroom automatically. Here is how you use Zoom in the classroom. First, you must load the courseware yourself and check to make sure it's functioning properly. For example, you need to make sure the reward system is working and you can award the golden shells to your students. Each student will have a tag with his or her name on it. You also need to check to make sure you can play the games. I'll mute the game and check if you can hear the background music. Three, two, one, go! What Chinese festivals do we celebrate with our family? And you can work with the tools to see if it's functioning. Check the highlight, a pen, and the text box, and see if you can change the color or the size, etc. When everything works fine in the courseware, we go back to the home page and click the Enter Classroom button. Second, go to the virtual classroom and click share screen. A prompt will pop up asking if you are sure you want to share your browser and of course the answer is yes. The browser you want is the one with the courseware running in it. You don't want your students to miss out on using the courseware right along with you. The same applies to sharing audio. If you don't agree to share the components, how can your students enjoy the courseware games? As the virtual classroom host, only you can control the toolbox. So if the student is having a hard time understanding how to play the game, you can write or draw on the screen to help them play it. Mark each picture with alphabet or numbers and turn the game into a multiple choice exercise. If you finish class early, take time to review the material. Use all your allotted time and leave the classroom when class is over. How to go back to the specific section you want? Here's the navigation button. One tip is to never pause or stop recording while teaching. If there's a problem with your class, having an incident on tape is better than having nothing. When students no show the class, the tutor has to stay in the classroom and wait until the end. In this situation, Please pause the camera but still record the whole class. If you must mute the students, do it as a last resort to manage the classroom and only mute them for a few seconds. So, these are the basics of Zoom. Familiarize yourself with it and enjoy the experience.